Hello everyone, welcome back to Manly Focus channel. Today, we are going to delve into an issue that's been causing quite a stir, one that could change the way we interact and understand each other in our day-to-day -day lives. We're talking about a noticeable shift in societal dynamics where men are increasingly hesitating to offer help to women. Now, it's no secret that gender dynamics have evolved considerably in recent years, with the conventional roles of men and women becoming more fluid. But with this progress, are there unforeseen consequences that we need to be aware of and address? Well, let's dive in and explore this issue together. As we delve into the 21st century, a paradigm shift in societal norms and expectations is increasingly visible. More specifically, men are opting to refrain from extending their help towards women, a trend reflecting the evolving dynamics of gender roles. Historically, men have been characterized as the saviors, the protectors, a notion deeply ingrained in the fabric of our society. However, the narrative has taken a dramatic turn. Today's world sees women embracing independence and self-sufficiency with open arms, championed by the resolute voices of feminists worldwide. Women have increasingly made their capabilities known, debunking archaic stereotypes that pegged them as needing constant assistance. The echoes of their determination have reached the ears of men. And in a surprising twist, many men have decided to respond by taking a step back, giving women the space they sought, retreating from their traditional roles as helpers. The question is, are we witnessing a transformation of gender dynamics or a worrying trend where assistance is withheld due to misunderstandings and misconceptions? Gone are the days where a damsel in distress waits for her gallant prince to come to her rescue. Women today are prepared and equipped to face challenges head-on. This change, while empowering, has prompted men to question their roles and the need for their assistance. The practical implications range from the seemingly trivial to more grave situations. From changing a flat tire to protecting themselves against potential threats, women have taken it upon themselves to be prepared for any eventuality. Some men view this development as an echo of the cry for independence and perceive any offer of help as a potential intrusion into the newfound autonomy of women. An emerging deterrent that makes men hesitate before extending help is the fear of being labeled as a creep. This label, heavily laden with negative connotations, is something men want to avoid. In an era where actions are scrutinized more than ever, any attempt to offer assistance can be misconstrued as an unwanted advance, a breach of personal space, or an attempt to assert dominance. Consequently, many men prefer to err on the side of caution, choosing to abstain from helping to avoid potential misinterpretations. The creep label extends beyond offering help and ventures into everyday interactions. Take the gym scenario for example. It's not uncommon for men to keep an eye on others to ensure they're not risking injury by using equipment incorrectly. Yet, when a woman is on the receiving end of such concern, it can often be misunderstood as unsolicited attention, leading to men being branded as creeps. This fear of adverse labeling has made men increasingly cautious in their interactions with women, with some choosing to opt out from providing assistance altogether. The ambiguity and potential repercussions associated with being perceived as creepy have led to a ripple effect that discourages men from stepping in, even in situations where their help could be beneficial. The creep label is not just confined to the gym. It is a pervasive issue that extends to work environments, significantly impacting interpersonal relationships. An innocuous good morning could potentially turn into a HR issue if the person delivering the greeting is perceived as creepy. This perception is largely subjective and often doesn't take into account factors such as an individual's mannerisms, tone, or inherent awkwardness. Yet, the implications can be severe and long-lasting. This subjective judgment can lead to the demonization of the person involved, causing severe damage to their reputation, relationships, and mental well-being. It's important to note the existence of double standards when using the creep label. The term creepy is often used loosely to describe men based on subjective factors such as physical attractiveness or social adeptness. This one-sided judgment leaves little room for understanding or empathy towards the individual being labeled. The same people quick to throw the creep label might not react so positively if they were judged similarly, based on their physical attributes or personality traits. For instance, if someone were to point out their weight, the backlash would be immediate and severe, highlighting the inherent double standard. The misuse and overuse of the creep label pose a significant challenge for interpersonal interactions, particularly in a dating context. Men, 
especially those who may not conform to conventional standards of attractiveness or those who are socially awkward, find themselves in a tricky position. They are often hesitant to approach women, even with the most respectful intent, for fear of being labeled creepy. Historically, these actions were seen as flattering and chivalrous. Women of previous generations would have appreciated such attention. However, the current climate seems to foster an entitlement to attention only from conventionally attractive individuals. This notion is inherently unfair and inhibits healthy social interactions. While it's understandable for women to cherish their independence and be cautious about men's intentions, it's equally important to encourage a culture of understanding and mutual respect. Men shouldn't be dissuaded from helping women or fear social interactions due to potential labeling. Similarly, women should feel comfortable accepting help without perceiving it as an encroachment on their independence. One significant factor pushing men to become more hesitant in offering help to women is the advent of the concept of self-preservation. Increasingly, men are focusing on protecting themselves from the potential fallouts of helping. They often consider the risk of being misinterpreted, possibly accused of harassment, or even having legal actions taken against them, as outweighing the potential benefit of helping. The desire to avoid potential controversy and social or legal problems can be strong enough to dissuade men from taking action, even when they might otherwise feel inclined to help. Men's hesitation to help can also stem from negative past experiences where their genuine offers of assistance were met with suspicion, hostility, or allegations of ulterior motives. These instances leave men feeling misunderstood, unappreciated, or even victimized. The idiom no good deed goes unpunished encapsulates this sentiment, making men wary of repeating such experiences, and thus, less inclined to extend their help. There is a growing perception that acts of chivalry or goodwill are often met with indifference, or worse, taken for granted. Some men feel that their efforts to help are not appreciated or reciprocated. The absence of acknowledgement can be demoralizing, and over time, can lead to disillusionment. Men, just like anyone else, need positive reinforcement. When their gestures of help are met with indifference or ingratitude, it dissuades them from offering such assistance in the future. An increasingly prevalent term, benevolent sexism, refers to the attribution of positive traits to women in a way that reinforces traditional gender roles. It includes offering help to women based on the belief that they are weaker or less capable. Despite its positive connotations, benevolent sexism has been identified as a form of discrimination. The awareness and fear of being accused of such can also dissuade men from offering their assistance. While the quest for women's independence and empowerment is undeniably a step forward, it can also act as a double-edged sword in certain situations. Men, in their understanding of this desire for independence, may refrain from helping, fearing they might inadvertently belittle women or infringe on their autonomy. This reluctance is a testament to the changing dynamics and the increased sensitivity towards acknowledging women's capabilities. Ultimately, men's increasing hesitance to help women reflects a social atmosphere rife with miscommunication and misunderstanding. Men should not feel deterred from offering help out of fear of misinterpretation or backlash. That wraps up our discussion on the societal shift where men are refraining from helping women. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video insightful and share it with your friends to get their thoughts. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our latest content. Until our next discussion, stay aware, stay manly, and remember, it's okay to question the norm. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.